Hi everyone, I'm uh, Mario De Riso, uh, and I'm very happy to start up a, a, a sort of a dialogue which we hope can be monthly in order to uh, update you about what we do here in the label and uh, all the plans that we are going to have in the, the next uh, weeks, months, maybe, maybe years. I would like to start with uh, this particular record, which is the new Pretty Maids album, uh, Undress Your Madness. Undress Your Madness is uh, Pretty Maids' newest release, and uh, this new record, which uh, uh, was once again produced by Jakob Hansen, is, uh, uh, is an absolute monster of an, of an album. It's, uh, uh, it's melodic, heavy, and the band is really, you know, at the top of the game, at top of the form. And it's coming out in different configurations. You know, we have the CD here. We have uh, a beautiful limited edition, just 300 copies of uh, uh, a picture disc. And of course, we have the more regular, you know, vinyl release, which is also available all for you. I want to take the opportunity to send a big hug to Ronnie Atkins, Pretty Maid singer who's fighting cancer during these days. So hopefully you will be with us, you know, to celebrate great success of this new release. I want to talk now about this new record from The Dark Element, which is uh, a Frontiers project that we have built together with uh, Annette Olson, former Nightwish singer, and Yanni Limatainen, a former Sonata Artica uh, guitar player. This is a beautiful album, uh, symphonic metal, that has the elements of Sonata Artica, that has the elements of Nightwish, and it has its own, you know, element that make, you know, keep it apart from the rest of the of that's happening in the hard rock metal scene at the moment. Uh, we have, of course, you know, two different configurations on CD and vinyl as well. This one comes in uh, colored vinyl, so it's a limited edition colored vinyl. Makes sense, you know, that you order it as soon as possible before it goes, you know, deleted and sold out. Uh, another uh, artist which is very dear to us and it's close to our hearts, you know, in this particular period, because unfortunately he's also in a, in a very complicated health condition. It's Frankie Banali of Quiet Riot and we're releasing uh, the second album for the label, the second studio album for the label, third if we also include the live in Milan. And uh, this is the record, Hollywood Cowboys. You may, you may have seen uh, the great video that the band shot for the song In the Blood, where they, you know, uh, play a little bit, you know, with the spaghetti western style. This is, this is a really strong album which, you know, brings back the, all the emotion and, you know, the, the hard rocking sound of Quiet Riot, you know, you, the way you like it. They don't really need a lot of introduction, it's just a great band and this, that's another, you know, uh, you know, legacy of their beautiful art. So let's talk now about this band that literally, you know, we saw grow during the years. Uh, their name is Work of Art, they are from Sweden. It's a great trio, melodic rock trio from Sweden with uh, Robert Sahl, Hermann Furin, Lars Sarfsund. Uh, those guys have literally, you know, uh, came up with some of the most beautiful melodic rock albums of the few years, the past few years, and uh, nicely they, you know, 
<laughs> you can see them in the back cover of the of the vinyl album. You see all the all the, the their previous records, and uh, uh, the band has come up with another you know milestone of their discography, and this is a, a beautiful record which is very much in line you know with uh, with the style of bands like Toro, Journey, and classic melodic rock. So very much you know for 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 the for the lovers of AOR and melo the classic melodic rock sound of the 80s and and 90s. Um, now uh, I want to spend some words for uh, one of our newest signings that is, uh, uh, you know, debuting for the label. Uh, Edge of Paradise is uh, is an industrial symphonic metal uh, band from Los Angeles. Um, it's uh, it's a band that is fronted by a beautiful singer, uh, Margarita Monet, and you know you will find out that there's much more beyond you know this beautiful girl singing here in fronting the band uh, since this is a, a, a band that really has a lot of you know interesting ideas and takes her own their own twist you know to the uh, symphonic and uh, a metal sound with a little bit of industrial elements which you know are really interesting and make the music very intriguing and certainly i would like to take the opportunity to invite you to check out the band live since they are going to tour heavily in support of this release, particularly in Europe with uh, uh, Sonata Artica, and uh, later on in 2020 in, uh, uh, in the United States supporting Hammerfall. So check them out. In my And uh, last but not least, oh, you know, these are, you know, just great friends of the label, Taiketto. Taiketto are back with, uh, with a new live album, which basically uh, offers back-to-back -back their Strength in Numbers release, which, is, which was one of the most successful and intriguing and interesting releases of the early 90s. The band played a few shows uh, in the spring of 2019, uh, where they played the whole record, and now they, you know, it's it's available for everyone in celebration of the 25th anniversary of this great release, which was one of the most acclaimed releases in a very dark period for melodic and classic hard rock. So not only new releases uh, are happening here at the Frontiers headquarters in Napoli, but we're also working on more new releases. So just to give you an idea of what will be coming in the next few months and maybe during 2020, I just want to recap some of those very exciting new bands that, I, that came you know, to the label. Lately, we have seen a lot of great bands coming from South America. And we have announced three of those very different styles, actually. And the funny thing, they're all from Brazil, and particularly they're all from one town in Brazil called Curitiba. Those bands are Electric Mob, who feature one of the contestants of The Voice Brazil, a really golden voice. This guy's name is Renan Zonta, and his band is Electric Mob. Another band coming from Curitiba, which has a different style, more classic melodic hard rock, think Van Halen meets Journey, is called Landfall. Landfall feature an old friend from the Frontiers label, singer Guy Oliver, who was involved in a band called Aras, which the label released, you know, quite a few years ago. And the next one is a very heavy band. It's called Semblant. They have uh, a sound which is leaning towards death metal, but still very melodic. 
two more really exciting signings, more in the progressive metal styles, are one from the United Kingdom, a band called Novina, and another band is from Sweden, which is called Paralidium. Paralidium used to be called the Paralidium Project. They released an EP maybe three or four years ago, and we were already interested in signing the band as soon as you know we found out you know the EP. This is a, one of those releases that the, the fans of bands like Symphony X or Seventh Wonder they really cannot miss them. The other band Novina features uh, a fairly well-known face right now in the progressive metal scene. Who the singer Ross Jennings from Haken is is the singer also of Novina, and the band plays a really interesting, a very original style of progressive metal. So check them out. This may be one of those surprises that you won't expect from the Frontiers label. Two more signings from the label, they come from Eastern Europe. One is our first band from Latvia, and their name is Bloody Hills. They play a sort of a sleaze metal sound, and we signed them for the release of their second album. Another band that we have recently announced are from Hungary and again this is the first band from Hungary which is welcome to the label, their name is Stardust and they are very interesting for all lovers of classic AOR and melodic rock. So another great signing that I want to talk about is Her Chariot Awaits. Her Chariot Awaits sees the return and the union uh, of two great hard rock metal musicians. One is Mike Orlando. Mike Orlando is a great guitar player and producer from the United States and he has played with a band called Adrenaline Mob and he joined forces with sort of a, you know, she disappeared for a couple of years after leaving Sirenia. Of course she is Eileen coming, you know, going. she went to New York to record the album they showed, you know, some great videos and pictures, and this is uh, really going to interest all the fans of Adrenaline Mob, Hailstorm, and bands, and similar bands. So thanks for listening and checking out our channel. Please subscribe to be updated all the time with our news and information coming from the label. And you know, don't forget to like, you know, the Frontiers Facebook page or follow us on Instagram or Twitter. Just be with us and you will be able to discover a lot of great music. See you soon.